Many people in this country, when they hear the word puppetry or puppet designer, think about fur and googly eyes and foam. And these are definitely materials that we use. Most of the time, my puppetry design work uses everything else from wood to fabric. I do a lot of carving. There's a tremendous amount of sculpture involved. This guy, uh, he's the rat from Animal Farm, the puppet musical, which my partner Eric Wright and I designed a few years ago, is made out of old burlap, lots of wood, some foam, glue, and you can see that he's on wheels here, which originally were Tupperware lids. Puppets designed for theater have to be built to last. So like anything else in a production, they have to be built well um, and durably. They also work best when they're most simple. They're sculptures in movement. So in some ways, getting hung up on the details doesn't actually serve the production, so much as looking for opportunities for the performer's body and the space to really integrate with an object. A lot of the producers and directors that I work with haven't worked with puppets before. So we have to kind of guide them through the, pop, the process of figuring out what makes a, a good puppet character and how puppetry can be integrated into a production that uses a blend of forms. Essentially, puppets bring to the stage a suite of possibilities and also a whole bunch of limitations that actors don't have. Puppets fly when they fall in love. Sometimes they die on stage, sometimes we break them into pieces, and then they also ask the audience for a kind of engagement that I think they don't necessarily have with a human actor.